Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to the final discussion about the 2021 season of anime this year. Today we'll be talking about, of course, Higurashi. Specifically, the Higurashi Sotsu, which uh, is the latest season. Uh, I, I didn't realize at first that this season had a different name than the past season. I thought it was still Gao, or G-O-U, uh, but apparently, no, it's, it's Sotsu now. So, uh, the, the first recent Higurashi was Higurashi When They Cry Gao, and this one is Higurashi When They Cry Sotsu. So, I don't exactly know what the uh, Sotsu and Gao stuff means, um, to be honest, but that doesn't matter. It's not relevant. Anyway, this one, of course, picks up right where the previous season laughed off. And Sadako's up to some sketchy shit, as always. So if you, if you watched the last season, and if you haven't, I don't know why you're listening to this video right now. Because, uh, spoilers for Gao, uh, you can feel free to tune out now if you have not seen the first of the latest seasons. Um, anyway, so it picks up right where Gao left off where Sotoko has gained the powers of the evil deity, I want to say. And now she's uh, going around trying to get Rika's friends and her friends to kill each other and basically break Rika's spirit so Rika will want to stay in um, Hinazamiwa Ozawa. Himanami Zawa. Uh, <clears throat> it's always a hard... Fucking place to say. Uh, so she wants to stay there instead of going to St. Lucia's, where in the, the first season it was all about um, Rika and Sotoko uh, going to St. Lucia's and Sotoko being like shit at studying. And so they kind of like got angry at each other and stopped being friends and whatnot. And so that leads uh, the, the evil goddess to basically be like, hey, Satoko, you want this fucking power to, like, live through loops with Rika? And if you die after her, you can go to the same loop she's in and keep tormenting her until she breaks her spirit so she doesn't want to leave to St. Lucia's Academy. Um, and and Satoko's like, of course I do, because I'm a shitty person. And so she uh, decides to start killing everyone. Or, well, specifically what she does is she... Uh, uses the, the syringe that has the, the virus thing or whatever it is that uh, inflicts the uh, Hina Mizawa syndrome on people, the thing that causes them to like scratch their uh, necks and be really paranoid and uh, kill everyone, essentially. Um, so she targets someone every time, and it's kind of an interesting glimpse because we keep going to like... Uh, uh, each loop is called like a fragment, right? And so through Satoko doing this, we go through some similar fragments where we see stuff happen, but from the other side. And I think that's a nice touch. Um, but it, it doesn't seem like necessarily Satoko's always been behind everything. Um, it seems like just in certain cases she has been doing this. But I don't really know if that's what they're meaning to imply or if they're meaning to imply that Sotoko has been behind everything and this is just a glimpse behind the scenes of what's been happening. Because uh, some of them are, like, exactly the same. It's just, like, from Sotoko's perspective, I would say. Which is quite interesting, to be honest. And, uh, ooh, nothing makes you hate Sotoko more than that. She was already kind of an unbearable character because she was always obnoxious and going, oh! And all that kind of shit. But uh, this one really like pushed it. So it was interesting to see. And the last couple of episodes were, oh my god, just beautiful. With uh, it culminating between like this huge fight. And it was great. And the last episode actually like choked me up a little bit. Yeah. It was uh, kind of cute and sweet. And yeah. And seems like they could be setting up for another season. Just with some of the way this stuff happened. But I don't know if they're actually going to. Because it seems like it, it wouldn't be limited limited to uh, Hinamizawa if they chose to go on to another, like, season. If they did go into another season, it seems like they might 
like focus it around St. Lucia's or other parts of the world or something like that uh, because it's, it's weird. Anyway, but yeah, the whole the whole game or the whole season this time around is basically a cat and mouse game between Satoko and Rika and their counterparts in the deity realm or whatever you want to call it between uh, uh, Hyanyu and the other goddess whose name I do not read. Call. Uh, I, I, for, I totally forget her name. The, the tall one that's like really kind of hot. Uh, that's helping Satoko. Because both of them are kind of fighting. Well, Hanyu's fighting for Rika, and the other goddess is just manipulating Satoko to fend off her boredom. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of like a cat and mouse game between those two groups as they both kind of vie to get their candidate to win and to win themselves and all that kind of good stuff. So quite an interesting season. Um, it's got the usual blood and gore stuff that you love from Higurashi and the characters you know and love and all that kind of stuff. And I just got to say, if you had uh, listened to my previous Higurashi videos from the newest season, when Gao first came out and I started watching it, I was like, this just seems like it's uh, updated graphically normal Higurashi. And that's what it seemed like. But one day, I had gotten bored, and I wanted to just kind of watch some shit. So I was like, you know, I'll just watch the new Higurashi, see how it is. And, uh, well, it got to, like, episode, like, 10 or 15 or something like that. Um, and then stuff started changing from what I remembered of the previous seasons. And uh, I was like, oh, well, I'm in. Like, oh, man, it was great. So... <clears throat> I'm so glad that I continued watching it because it was a fun ride and a uh, very, very entertaining to check out. So, definitely great. Uh, I will say it is it is much funner if you watch the older Higurashis and then watch these as well. Just because there's more, like, stuff that you know uh, happening and all that kind of stuff. You don't necessarily have to since, like I said, um, it seems like the first season of Gao... Uh, or, the, or Gao, the season of Gao, uh, it basically went ahead and covered a lot, or covered some similar stuff, at least, to what happened in the first one, or at least it sets the uh, the theme for the show of what it's going to be about, um, whereas the first uh, Higurashi season, like the very first one, like back in the day, like the 90s or 2000s, whenever it came out, uh, it was a lot more, it eased you in. And then uh, as the progressive seasons went, it got crazier and crazier, but not to this extent necessarily of the newer seasons. Um, in the new seasons, I definitely liked, uh, there, there was one thing that stands out, and it's not necessarily the like animation and stuff like that. It's their mouths. It's the like, um, it's hard to explain with the, the, the mouths, but uh, let me see. If I just Google Higurashi Smiles... If I just do that, will it give me like some zoom ins on their smiles? Yeah. So it's it's this weird like wavy like smiley like smile that everyone has, and it's like just so interesting the way they did it. Um, let me see if I can actually get this up on the screen here for y'all. I wasn't expecting to show this, so I didn't have it ready. But uh, let me just. Edit that, edit this, pop open that, this one here. So this is a uh, picture of Satoko here, and I'm not sure if you guys can see it very well, but uh, you can see like the smile, like the, the thing curves up after having like flatness on the bottom there of her, uh, her mouth, which is, uh, I don't know, for some reason it's just, it's really like, is interesting. But the way they did it, I feel like it gives them more like expressive or something. I don't know. I've seen a lot of anime starting to do this after I watched this one with how they uh, do the the smiling and stuff, where it's more like wavy and curvy. It's not just like a, a simple like circle or like a half circle or like a curved line, I guess. It's more like a uh, kind of a wavy thing, whatever. I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling about it. I don't know why. But it's interesting because shit gets so fucking crazy 
and like the, the expressions feel more like alive in Higurashi, which is great because they need to for when they go like freaking insane and uh, like start killing everyone or like contort their faces in like weird ways and all that kind of good shit. So I just got to say, check it out. Higurashi is great. Ah, oh, man, if you if you need like a kind of horror, gory anime, Higurashi is definitely your jam. So uh, check it the fuck out. Uh, until next time, everyone, I'm going to be done with the anime shit. So if you didn't like it, it's done now. So thank you all for bearing with me. And until next time, bye for now.